Wow, always a day late, a dollar short here. Welcome to another episode of Leaving the Farm right here on Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, as well as tammypepperman.org, broadcasting on No Borders Radio at tammypepperman.org. We are a listener-supported radio station. If you'd like to donate, please visit us at www.freedomslips.com. And click on our support pages. TammyPepperman.org is also listener, reader, and watcher supported. If you'd like to donate, please donate to our web hosting services. And you can locate that on our website. And um, we'll get right into it, shall we? Yeah, this is just... Uh, the the uh, Pope is coming out and saying he's a good guy. Satan's trying to say he's a good guy. The presentation, it's failing. And, uh, of course, the etymology on Pope means father. Jesus said, call no man your father, not even Christ. And, of course, that's uh, Matthew 23, referring to the teachers of the law. Or the thing that has you laying down. The etymology on law means literally to lay down. If you plan on resurrecting anytime soon, it's not a wise idea to follow what the Pope says or what its handlers say, which is Senate, House of Representatives, and Congress assembled. That is your transgressor. It's been walking on you for a very long time, tricking out your families, your communities, your children as it preys on them from one end of the spectrum to the other and teaches you it's your fault. Ever since that very book, Exodus, had you walking outside of yourself or away from God. From the Guardian.com, as well as the AP, Vatican has refused to reveal all royal commission head declares. The Vatican has told the child sex abuse royal commission that it will not hand over all information about members of its clergy who abuse children on Australia. They don't need to. The evidence is in the stolen generations. They were taking off of their parents by child protective services and the legal process and sold to the Catholic diocese. This is evidenced again and again in the Catch for Kids scandal in Pennsylvania. This is evidenced again and again in the buried children in Florida, Georgia, Canada. This has always been the same schematic. Court is defined as a bank. It's called banking. Once they pull the children off of the parents, the predator can get at the children. Once they castrate the male, come on, it's a game of chess. Castrating the king is easy. You walk into one of their banks and ask for a restraining order. Come up with an attorney, Barabbas. Get that restraining order going, shall we? Let's see how many kitties we can put in a chute using the legal process and the banking me mechanisms that are employed to facilitate human trafficking at the hands of the court process. Genocide at the hands of corporate counsel. Genocide. Human trafficking. Maintaining revenue streams through the internal revenue service. A routing system to hide all these dollars offshore. I sure as heck can't go back in the treasury, can they? Once Judas has his little bag of silver, Federal Reserve notes, can't put that back in the treasury, that's blood money, they said. Who said? Why? The chief priests and elders, 
the same ones that have been crucifying your earth ever since the inception of politics. Poly, of course, meaning many, kratos, meaning to control or possess. A schematic is well known and quite efficient. It became even more efficient in 1978 with the Inspector General's Act insuring all of those deposits through the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Hedging the bet. Betting not only on your productivity and your children's productivity and everybody's productivity, but betting on death, betting on injury, betting on abuse, betting on diagnosis through the International Classification of Diseases and Disorders known as the ICD-10. This all runs through the CMS system, which is the Centers for Medicaid Services. And attorneys are cashing in hand over fist on every aspect of this design, every aspect of humanity itself in this great sociological experiment called the United States of America, otherwise known as a eugenics pogrom. Congress is at its head. Congress is at its head. I didn't come in and, and, and fight any wars. It didn't come in and lay an actual claim on any land. It claimed the ports. It brought its little vessels in there on the high seas and it claimed the ports and everything in between these ports using the Port Authority. And in between those ports you have the Surface Transportation Board. Board of Governors need to go. General Council needs to go. These are the same councils at Nicaea. These are the very same that Paul of Tarsus, Saul of Tarsus, the tax man, introduced way back when. The same concepts proposed to you by Plato and Protagoras, meaning the protected one. Or perhaps we should go into the concept of Isocrates. ISO meaning equal, and of course Kratos meaning to control or possess. Socrates taught us all about communism, how to be animals on a farm, to be equally controlled or possessed. And of course, don't ever forget Aristoteles. Aristo means the perfect one. Tolis means cannot be bettered. An aristocratic society is engineered as a, a game of ethics. Is the action of Veda, or the new you. It's just as horrifying as Meta, the moral you, or Soma, the psychological creation of you. All of these things brought to you by that ever-present tree of knowledge bearing such fruit. I said right in a biogenesis, the doctrine of a biogenesis meaning away from life, mind, and soul, the action of, and this is written in Genesis, it says right there you are being removed from the ability to realize the self, the author of the book. The book of life, of course, is written in the action of being. The book of death is written in the action of thinking about it, hoping to be, seeking to be, wanting to be, believing yourself 
belief stems from the word be left to be gone from. And the Pope is screaming today, oh, you need the church. Jesus said take everything, everything to those who are least esteemed in the church. 1 Corinthians 6. He said, don't do these things. What are you thinking as you patronize another demigod? That thing is a demigod. They worship Marduk, the god of Baal, Baalism. It's like an ant, an irritant. Absolutely an irritant. Flick it away. Get it out of your communities. You know, we were conversing today about, you know, other aspects of what has lain everybody down. And you look at all of these products on the market that are castrating males. Chemically castrating males. Psychologically castrating males. And in any natural state, any biological state, the male, the minute it saw that a judge was tricking children out, it would remove that thing from ability to harm. However, psychologically, the male has been offered restraining orders and criminal process and all of these other things, allowing predation on our children. That is what it is there for. Humanity does not prey on itself. Humanity doesn't kill itself. The human body does not destroy itself until there's something imparted to it, consumed, which makes it attack itself and, and go through all of these autoimmune disorders. Those things are created by what you're consuming, according to the FDA. The FDA and the Ethics Commission have contracts with each other to use you as human test subjects. The more stuff that is wrong with you, the better it is for the FDA and the attorneys at the other end cashing in on all of these diagnoses. If you're killing yourself slowly, and, and it is very, very slowly, the FDA reports this, the Codex Elementarius reports on how much poison you can eat during a certain amount, or, or amount of time in order not to kill you right away. They need farm animals. They don't want you dead today. They want you slowly, half dead, throughout all of your existence so that you're easy to manipulate. that you're easy to use. They're drugging up your children. They are drugging you up. And then on the back end, they're investigating themselves and slapping themselves on the hands. They're putting lithium in your water. You are drugged up. You are sleepy. You are experiencing Stockholm Syndrome, Soma Theory. You need to start filtering your water. To get away from the use of plastics. Absolutely away from the use of plastic. You know, all of these things, they're, the, the human production is backing the Federal Reserve note. The gold is actually backed by the petrol dollar. You are addicted to plastics, which is a byproduct of oil. And in this, you are called the consumptive good. You are keeping this thing going. Cars are made of plastic. Siding on houses is made of plastic. Utensils, packaging, it, it's, it's just permeated 
every inch of society. These attorneys do not stop. This thing keeps going and going. It needs to end. They were calling on this, so... So here we are, the Catholic Diocese saying, oh no, you can't have that. That is like Charles Manson coming in and saying, no, I want the evidence taken off the record of me killing Sharon Tate and that baby, and we'll just start on a fresh, clean slate. Hi, I'm Charles Manson. I don't know why I'm here in court today, but, you know, I don't see any evidence anywhere, because... We shuffled that off the record, thanks to my attorneys. Now, how ridiculous would that have been? Now, you all need to clear your heads, because the Vatican is doing the same thing, backed by its attorneys, saying, oh, nope, we're going to shuffle some evidence off the court record. And this is how Barabbas gets let off. The murder. It's been killing your kids. It's been killing you to get at your children. It's been trafficking you for a very long time. And not only you, you right now out there that have had your children stolen from you. <coughs> Excuse me. There was an entire generation stolen in Australia through the action of Child Protective Services. And right now in the United States Incorporated and Canada Incorporated, they've been doing the same thing. Minnesota released news a while back that they were trafficking females and babies you ignored it oh somebody will take care of that who's going to take care of that Congress the one that is trafficking your children who are you waiting for the judge the one that's sleeping with your children the attorney the one that's raping them and drugging them? The psychiatrist? The one that's raping them and then teaching them that they're bad? Or the priest? The other one that's raping them and teaching them that they're bad? Who are you waiting on to protect your children? Are you waiting on the Pope? Because I can guarantee you that under those robes, he's got a little boy, most often. I can guarantee you that he is inducted none after none after none after none into the action of child predation. I can guarantee you that the sickest thing ever has been to witness these things while you wait for the same predator to save you. And here you are again. Again. Oh dear. We found another 6,000 bodies buried in a mass grave. Oh my, they look like children. Where did they come from? Those are from your houses. Those are your babies. They died for banking. They died. They've been slaughtered. 
And as Congress moves across the globe with its Tesla coils and its Dussel coils and its harp, and it promotes all of these, quote, acts of God, it, it swiftly picks up more and more orphaned children that you've never even heard about and you don't even think about at all. So that these priests have more children to rape and molest and murder and dump in mass graves somewhere. These so-called off-color children that are never in your mind's eye, those are my babies. I don't care if you're pit against each other, those are my babies. Each and every one. And you're waiting on what exactly to happen while you patronize other fathers, the same things that are preying on your children. Hillary Clinton, she's a predator. Bill Clinton, he's a predator. Joseph Biden is a predator. Patrick Leahy is a predator. John Cornyn is a predator. Barbara Boxer is a predator. Diane Feinstein is a predator. Orrin Hatch is a predator. These are predators. They are hunting your children using legal process. They are hunting your children using the German Stasi method, now known as Child Protective Services, Adult Protection Services. The Internal Revenue Service. Those are tools of hunting children. Those are tools of hunting meek and mild human beings. Those are tools of hunting your parents and your grandparents after their productivity lags. And the local corporate counsel attorney devises a new schematic of making them produce. That means that your mom or your dad is going to be diagnosed with cancer even though they never had such a thing. Your baby's going to be diagnosed as abuse and you're going to be pointed out as the culprit. Shaken baby syndrome. It's the action of trimethylsulfate, a chemotherapeutic antibiotic agent that causes yeast to grow in a baby's lungs after long-term chronic usage. Once that yeast is in the lungs, the baby starts to cough and try to choke it up and it ends up with petechiae around the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, neck. And even though the medical industry is causing this, the medical industry is going to tell you that that is the appearance of shaken baby syndrome and it's your fault, but they did it. Corporate counsel is killing babies in the most horrifying manners. Trimethylsulfate, Bactrim, Septra. It's also the AIDS virus. It's a chemotherapeutic antibiotic. Chronic long-term use. Lyses all the cells in the body. You're, you're diminishing your immunity. It's its purpose. It's chemotherapy. And it presents as HIV. And again, what are one of the signs and symptoms? yeast growth in the lungs, yeast all over the body. Well, why is that? The FDA food pyramid is feeding you nothing but carbohydrates. You are feeding bacteria.
Yeast loves sugar. Bacteria love sugar. You've got all of these bronchial problems and pneumonia and uh, pneumocystic pneumonia, which is what the yeast is called. All of these things are created for you. It depends on what you're consuming. got to stop consuming these things you know years ago when they murdered Freddie Mercury the same way they said that he had AIDS and they vilified him they used that as a platform to vilify gay people Congress this is all Congress they're a horrifying bunch They make profit off of the death of human beings. Attorneys make profit off of the illness, disease, and discomfort of humanity. Up and down, death derivatives, you name it. Now this thing in the Vatican refusing to reveal all of the information they did this years ago you know this morning I got a call from a beautiful soul from Ireland and he got on with me and his heart was in his throat and his hands are tied and he's telling me about what's going on there on the ground and they found more babies and it, it just never ends They put on really good presentations. Now, years ago, Mary LaFoy came in. And um, she was appointed as a judge of the High Court in 1995. Of course, she's the Supreme Court of Ireland. And she's most notable for presiding over the Commission to Inquire into Child Abuse from 1999 to 2003 and inquire into child abuse before causing controversy by resigning as its chair. In her letter of resignation from the commission of the 2nd of September 2003, LaFoy outlined her belief that the actions of the government and the Department of Education had frustrated her efforts and had slowed the commission's work. Of course it did. The Department of Education is part of Congress. Its function is to abuse your children, to mold them into corporate product. You can read all about developing human capital and juvenile justice systems, developing child capital and juvenile justice. Google those terms, quality child capital Juvenile capital, and you will find a whole new world you were never, ever, ever, ever supposed to be even exposed to in any way, shape, or form because humanity does not have a natural predator. I can walk outside and I'm not going to be eaten by a bear, a polar bear, or a dinosaur. But on the same day, I'm going to be preyed on at least three times by an attorney. Metasoma Veda. I'm going to be accosted by advertisements. If I register anywhere, I'm going to be attacked by the attorney. If I drive anywhere, I'm going to be attacked by the attorney. If I do anything, I'm going to be attacked by the attorney. If I send my kids to school, they're going to be raped by an attorney. They're going to be tricked out by a judge. They're going to be preyed on by priests, psychiatrists. 
and other experts who like to traffic in children. That's what politics is. It doesn't have any other function. There are three forms of production on this planet. One third of the GDP, gross domestic product, is in taxation and consumption. One third of the GDP globally is in medicine, psychology, and death. And one third is in criminalization. There are no other forms of production on this planet. The attorney is at the back end of every form of production on this planet, farming, human beings. This is known as human husbandry. They tell you when to breed. They tell you when not to breed. They tell you it's okay to kill each other. Then they pit you against each other and get you to kill each other. That's called cutting costs. That's called cutting overhead. You know what? It, it just boggles my mind. There's so many, so many sick and twisted avenues that they've created for themselves. I grew up in farming and ranching and agriculture and there wasn't one time when I pit cows against each other or pigs against each other or chickens against each other. That's only something special that the attorney does with humanity through the action of psychological warfare. It is warfare. The practice of law is lawfare. These are war tactics. On Monday, as a prosecuting attorney, I went into hearing and I asked the judge for a finding of genocide and war crimes. A judge came back with a finding of genocide and war crimes. And there is now a bounty on the attorney in the amount of $250,000 in FRNs. Any law enforcement that would like to work on behalf of the public law, the United States, you can contact me by going through TammyPepperman.org. You can email me, TammyK23 at Hotmail.com. And we'll give you those orders. Whatever you need there. You are absolutely fully funded to do whatever you need to do to remove the predator from the ability to prey on human beings. You have absolute and unfettered access to the Treasury as long as you're upholding the public law. These advertisements are something else. Sorry for this rant. So that that report that I was talking about earlier, the um, when Mary LaFoy quit and introduced her letter of resignation, The Guardian had reported at that time, and you can find this still at theguardian.com. Well, until further notice, Google's trying to get rid of everything, and these attorneys are trying to get rid of all of the evidence of their criminal activity by going, of course, through Congress's courts. That's, just, that's the funniest thing. So, you know, just lean on the damn thing 
So this is a report from 2009, Wednesday, May 20th, 2009, Endemic Rape and Abuse of Irish Children in Catholic Care Inquiry Finds. So that's what, this is what was hidden. Beatings and humiliation by nuns and priests were common at institutions that held up to 30,000 children. And this came out of the Ryan Report. And at first it was Lefoy, and then, uh, what's his name, Sean Ryan took it over after she resigned. I'll continue reading. Rape and sexual molestation were endemic in Irish Catholic church-run industrial schools and orphanages, a report revealed today. The nine-year investigation found that Catholic priests and nuns for decades terrorized thousands of boys and girls in the Irish Republic, while government inspector inspectors failed to stop the chronic beatings, rape, and humiliation. The inspector generals, of course, were introduced in order to be another form of military around Congress, protecting Congress. Just as much as the FBI. The FBI is on the ground. It is Congress's military. CIA has always been a production company, but the most profound is that its handlers introduce the intelligence that's fed to the lower levels of the CIA. This week we're looking at and watching CIA operatives and CIA agents come out and say, look, I need help. I tried to get you this information and I am being terrorized now as a whistleblower by my employer which of course goes all the way up to Diane Feinstein Barbara Boxer John Cornyn sitting on the Senate Judiciary Committee because these are the guys chumming up arm on arm with the courts and the E force Everybody needs to go back into Spartan history and find the E-Force. Those were the Spartan magistrates that ruled everything. And you can find those by going to the Federal Judicial and Magistrate Association. <laughs> it's the same thing. Same monsters. Same child predators. Same criminal enterprise. From WashingtonPost.com today, CIA employee's quest to release information destroyed my entire career, he says. His CIA career included assignments in Africa, Afghanistan, and Iraq, but the most perilous posting for Jeffrey Scudder turned out to be a two-year stint in a sleepy office that looks after the agency's historical files. It was there that Scudder discovered a stack of articles, hundreds of his stories, histories of long dormant conflicts and operation that he concluded were still being stored in secret years after they should have been shared with the public. To get them released, Scudder submitted a request under the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, a step that any citizen can take, but one that is highly unusual for a CIA employee. Four years later, the CIA has released some of those articles and withheld others. It has also forced Scudder out. Well, yes, blackball. We have so many law enforcement agents that now work for us, law enforcement officers, because when they needed to cut overhead, their former employer just dropped them like a hot potato and then blackballed them after that. One beautiful, beloved soul was, or the, the entire department was shut down when, she, when they started realizing what was happening on the corrupt, the corrupt um, corporate council attorneys. Oh, this beloved was, of course, the department was dropped, and then they were forced to take an early retirement, okay? And in that, of course, she's... They have to live and, and support themselves and their children. And here, they're draining these accounts. Looking for employment elsewhere. 
And lo and behold, lo and behold, she's using her former employer as a reference and the former employer isn't referring. It's not saying anything. It's not doing anything. It's not acknowledging that they ever worked for them. And eventually, all it's done is block this beloved, beautiful soul from garnering any type of employment in the future. Making sure that this beautiful soul is crippled. Because that same beautiful soul has minor children that they want their hands on. If you financially cripple anybody, CIA, FBI, citizen, doctor, teacher, whatever, it is so easy for corporate counsel to come then after the children or the elderly of the family. If it starts promoting uh, not only terrorism in this form of fourth generation warfare, but it also uh, promotes the action of shock doctrine, like, oh my goodness, a, a cancer diagnosis, terminal illness diagnosis, one car accident, uh, mom was killed in a fiery ball, uh, fireball crash, we don't know what happened, it must have been GM. No, it was corporate counsel. Most likely they were T-boned or ran off the road. And this has been reported this year as well. FBI informants coming out saying, oh, I did that. Two years ago, the FBI came out and said, well, we're, we're the Muslim extremists. And the CIA came out and says, well, we're the underwear bomber. But you all need shock doctrine to make you move and act as prime farm animals. Because if you're in fear, you're going to run right to Congress and say, help me, help me, help me. Or run right to the priest. That's what all of this terror is for. All of this fear porn that you're watching on ABC, NBC, CBS. It's a design to prompt you into falling back on the state, the other daddy. All of these forms of terrorism. Someone pulls your brake lines, punctures your tire for you, busts out a window. All of these things, is that's a part of the design, the schematic, that's called guarantee insurance. You're going to run right out and defend your title, you're going to sue your neighbor, blame your neighbor for this. And in that controversy, the attorney's going to be cashing in at the other end. Marking off your property lines. All of these things that the attorney puts inside of your head for you. A couple years ago, I watched that. An insurance agent. An insurance agent. Came in to, to stake a claim on, on Phil's land. And this guy's State Farm, of course. He comes in and he says, oh, I've had a deer blind on that piece of property forever, so it's mine now. Hello, the, the name of that is called an adversarial claim. That is the action of Satan. Satan, of course, the etymology means your adversary. That thing that's tricking you out and, and constantly driving adversarial action. That is Satan. It's not a red devil with horns on. It's that guy or that female in the Armani suit. It's the thing at the bench sitting in the black dress holding the gavel. That thing has always been Satan. It's also known as Barabbas, the murderer. It's a murderer. It's the lowest form of 
it, you can't even call it light because it doesn't have sentience. It's missing the frontal lobe. It, it's like uh, living with Pac-Man. All it does is consumes. It doesn't have another function. It doesn't give. It doesn't glow. It doesn't have any light. It's a perpetual black hole. A vampire. A life sucker. Blood sucker. A leech. A blight. A plague on humanity. Shakespeare wrote about it said it should be dead. Shakespeare called it a pedophile in Hamlet. It is not conducive to life. It is a danger, danger, threat, poison. Hot, don't touch, red. I don't know how else to explain it. It needs a Mr. Yuck sticker on its forehead so you won't go near it. Or maybe just the big fat one tattooed all the way across its back and the front of it. Or perhaps we should just put it at Fukushima so it can clean up the mess that it created. It is a terror. It is something so bad for humanity. It is not anything conducive to life. It has taught you that you can kill each other and call it abortion or neonaticide or infanticide. It has dictated to you when life begins and life ends as if it was God. It is not God. It preys on my children. This thing is blight. <clears throat> my goodness. Looks like we're kind of getting it here. Uh, from lawfuel.com, U.S. Attorney announces arrest of education service provider on fraud charges. <coughs> I want every one of them gone. Every one of them gone. I want the Department of Education gone. It's science. I want it all gone. This is an indoctrination program. It is not conducive to life. Get it away from my children, from humanity in any way. I want it gone. Psychiatrist, gone. You have perverted every word, every truth, everything, gone. I want my due process. You got due process, it's called Matthew 23. You have absolutely no liberty. You have absolutely no rights. You are scum. You are feces on a shoe. Horrifying. You horrifying disease. The Inquisitor.com. I went to send out kudos to a sheriff 
The sheriff frustrated at district attorney's office. Um, the highest ranking law enforcement official in the parish is frustrated to describe it mildly with the handling of white collar crime and corruption cases by the Caddo Parish District Attorney's Office. Caddo Sheriff Steve Praetor said he is deeply troubled with the fact that his investigators are routinely investigating public corruption cases and making arrests which are never prosecuted by the district attorney. That's because you're the prosecutor. The attorney's a criminal. There's a $250,000 bond or uh, bounty on their heads. Just arrest them, put them in your jail, take money out of the treasury for their care and upkeep, as well as your law enforcement, and be done with it. It's all yours. Now, back at the separation of the spiritual and the temporal, Bishop handed everything over to the sheriff. The sheriff is a steward of mankind. There were no attorneys. The attorney came in and convinced you that you have no authority whatsoever. You have every, every authority. You are the authority. I am the clerk, the CEO. Put a lien on their assets. They're your assets. You take 10% of all assets and revenue. The rest goes to general welfare for humanity. That's it. It's simple. From click to houstoncom caught on camera. Driver plows into men in a parking lot. This is a sick one. Uh, apparently, they're looking for a female that ran over two males after she was frustrated. Uh, the psychopath needs to be uh, put in jail immediately. Um, I guess there was an argument. He was like, don't kill me. And she said, if I wanted to kill you, I'd shoot you. I won't run you over. He went into the store, came back out. She ran over both of them. Um, uh, they said she's driving a silver or gray older model Buick with broken out back driver's side window it appears from the surveillance video she may have had a passenger in the front seat with her uh, the men are okay they're going to be okay but are hoping police find the driver so she can face charges uh, you can find this at click to houston.com news caught on camera driver plows into men in parking lot 26754390 please go there and there's a short video on what the car looks like and that kind of thing we need to get these psychopaths off the street um, this was an interesting one today on americanthinker.com an Oklahoma congressman was denied entry it to an HHS facility located at Fort Sill when he re requested access the congressman Jim Bridenstein was understandably livid from the Hill, the freshman congressman asked what the Department of Health and Human Services is trying to hide at the facility in Fort Till, Oklahoma. The gates are rounded, are chained, and the facility is covered to obscure outside view, he said. There is no excuse for denying a federal representative. I don't care about this crap. I'm not going to advertise for Congress. Um, the reason I'm reading this is that... Uh, Nobody's allowed entry or reporting or anything. They've got children locked. They're babies that have immigrated, and they're using them in all manners of way. You can find this at AmericanThinker.com blog. Again, the CIA needs our help. I'm coming. I'm trying as fast as I can. We're putting liens down. Get back with me. Back channel. If you know of a more efficient means of corralling the attorney, I'm all ears. From BBC.com, German spying U.S. envoy summoned after arrest. German authorities have summoned the U.S. ambassador in Berlin after a man was arrested on suspicion of spying. 
The U.S. diplomat was asked to help in the swift clarification of the case, the foreign ministry said. And of course, this is gameplay. Don't worry about it. They're putting fear into all of this citizenship. They need to shock you. Oh my gosh, we need our government to come and save us. What are they going to save you from themselves? Presentation after presentation, this is how they make money. They pitch you against each other and then tell you you did it. Which is relative to Exodus. Judge comes down from a hill and says, Oh, you guys are still in each other's wives and ass asses. How about we uh, implicate some taxation here? Leviticus, or the action of taxation. I'll protect you for a fee. She just had, I have no... Call no man your father, not even Christ. Stop patronizing it. Of course, when we get back from the break, we'll talk about uh, what the uh, FCC has been doing to raise humanity through your telephone bills. Uh, of course, the uh, post-conflict constitution drafting toolkit. And how Google is aiding and abetting the known enemy of humankind. And that, that is something that's very, very important. And uh, we'll get into that when we come back from break. Um, we'll be right back, folks. Stick around. Then, offer you a constitution. As a pit and divided everybody against each other. From RT.com, there's now evidence that Google is aiding and abetting the known enemy of mankind. Headline reads, make them forget how irrelevant news disappears from Google searches. The fallout of the EU's right to be forgotten ruling has impacted a number of European news publications who suddenly found some of their inadequate and irrelevant pieces disappear from the web search engine results page. Search engine now stands accused of heavy-handedness by several media outlets, links to which have disappeared due to Google's fear of potential legal issues. Okay, if you are being terrorized by the attorney, take action against the attorney. Do not follow its orders because you are guilty of aiding and abetting the known enemy of humankind. Punishable by death. Your bottom dollar is not worth it. From GenocideWatch.org, the eight stages of genocide. This was written for the State Department by Gregory H. Stanton, President of Genocide Watch. Classification, symbolization, dehumanization, organization, polarization, preparation, extermination, and denial. Genocide is a process that develops in eight stages that are predictable but not inexorable. At each stage, preventive measures can stop it. The process is not linear. Logically, later stages must be preceded by earlier stages, but all stages continue to operate throughout the process. Number one, classification. All cultures have categories to distinguish people into us and them by ethnicity, race, religion, or nationality. German and Jew, Hutu and Tutsi, bipolar societies that lack mixed categories such as Rwanda and Burundi are the most likely to have genocide. The main preventative measure at this early stage is to develop universalistic institutions that transcend ethnic or racial divisions that actively promote tolerance and understanding and that promote classifications that transcend the divisions. Who 
who develops religious disparity, the church. Number two, symbolization. We give names or other symbols to the classifications. We name people Jews or gypsies or distinguish them by colors or, or dress and apply the symbols to members of the group. Classification and symbolization are universally human and do not necessarily result in genocide unless they lead to the next stage. They are not human. That's human nature designed by David Hume. When you're in each other's presence, you do not refer to each other. You're human beings. You simply be. You don't remember things. You're doing. This is all psychological warfare upon you that allows you to discriminate between colors and dress and symbols and classification and of course the next phase number three dehumanization one group denies the humanity of the other group how does that happen or years ago in my own advocacy when I took my advocacy over to India and Eastern uh, cultures and religious sects. I was working with Hindus and Sikhs and Muslims and Christians and Jews and everything else. And at one point, my my beloved started interacting with each other, Hindus and Sikhs and, and Muslims. And the Hindus came to me and they said, well, what about the Muslims? Muslims have been burning widows to prevent inheritance. And I said, e excuse me? Yeah, Tammy, Muslim men has, have been burning their widows to prevent inheritance for a very long time. And again, I said, excuse me. And they said, yeah, Muslim males have been burning their widows to prevent inheritance. How does a dead man burn his widow to prevent inheritance? Who stands there after he dies with probate court? An attorney stands there after a male dies with probate court and family court and attorneys have been burning Muslim females to get at their inheritance Barabbas and this is the same thing that the attorneys were doing at the Salem witch trials trials they were courts of Assisi's Attorneys were burning who they called out as witches. Attorneys were drowning who they called out as witches. My children. Slaughtering my children. With the swine flu, they were dehumanizing Chinese citizens, Indians, saying, look, this, this uh, bird flu is spread by, by them eating rotten food. They weren't eating rotten food. 
Attorneys were exposing my children to anthrax. Again. Hydrogen one part and nitrogen one part is what your body metabolizes when it's exposed to anthrax. And if it's in higher concentration, it ex if exposed, it you will produce hydrogen one part and nitrogen five parts. It depends on how acidic... It all depends on the acidity, how much sugar content you have as to how much gas you're producing. Your own urine. You, you've got concentrates of ammonia. H1 and 3. It's the sugar content. And the attorneys have played the same game with the uh, breathalyzer tests. When you eat, you metabolize sugar alcohols. They've been playing you for fools. And getting you to be pit against each other. Number four, organization. Genocide is always organized, usually by the state. No kidding. Often using malicious to provide deniability of state responsibility. Absolutely. Those priests are the one that buried those 6,000 children. 3,000 3, children. 2,000 children. 5,000. 10,000. Putin is begging for help. He says Congress is attacking us. Congress is on the ground in the Ukraine perpetrating civil war with its agents and agencies. Putin says help me. Saddam Hussein said help me when he didn't want to be involved with the International Monetary Fund. And you've watched as Congress tore him apart, tore his country apart, burned it to the ground. This is the same action of Agamemnon as it always was. Number five, polarization extremists drive the groups apart. The FBI came out in 2012 and said we're the extremists. Human beings do not hate each other. They do not kill each other. They do not have these concepts in their mind to dehumanize each other. Number six, preparation. Victims are identified and separated out because of their ethnic or religious identity. Death lists are drawn up. The Veterans Affairs Administration just released recently that they had lists of veterans that had expended their insurance and they were cold. Veterans. These are your brothers and sisters. These are your moms and dads. Number seven, extermination. Extermination begins and quickly becomes the mass killing legally called genocide. 
It is the extermination to the killers because they do not believe their victims to be fully human. Attorneys are accountants. They do not have a frontal lobe. They do not have human compassion. They do not have empathy. I'll continue reading. When it is sponsored by the state, the armed forces often work with militias to do the killing. They believe that they're protecting others. Sometimes the genocide results in revenge killings by groups against each other. Yeah, if you believe that it's me, you're going to react on me rather than Congress. And that is what happened during Bolshevik Russia. Al-Qaeda. In English means the base. It was a CIA production. The CIA trained them to go in and kill females. All of the men had seen the use for the first time of feminism. They had all been falsely accused and restrained from their children, their ho homes raised. They lost everything. They lost their jobs. They lost all their toys. And the Confederacy was teaching them the same thing that they taught this time. Look at the female. Don't look at Congress. Look at the female. Don't look at the psychiatrist. Look at the female. Don't look at the court. Look at the female. Don't look at the attorney. Look at the female. When Al-Qaeda realized their use and they turned against the CIA, they were made public enemy number one and they stayed that way. And they're still staying that way. And now they've created another sect called Boko Haram. And the CIA is all over the globe. These are CIA operations. The lower levels of the CIA agents, they don't know what they're doing. This is directed by Diane Feinstein, Orrin Hatch, John Cornyn, Joseph Biden, Patrick Leahy. Hillary Clinton. John Forbes Kerry is the clearinghouse. You know him as the Secretary of State. He is a clearinghouse. He's the one that clears the books when it comes to bankruptcy. Number eight is denial. Denial is the eighth stage that always follows a genocide. It is among the surest indicators of further genocidal massacres. The perpetrators of genocide dig up the mass graves burn the bodies, try to cover up their evidence, and intimidate the witnesses. They deny that they have committed any crimes and often blame what happened on the victims. They block investigations of the crimes. Kendrick Johnson was murdered in a school, rolled up in a school mat. The FBI investigated the family had their own investigation done and come to find out all of his organs were missing. His body cavity had been stuffed with newspaper at the FBI. The GBI, that was the Georgia Bureau. One of my babies was used to harvest his organs. Murdered in a public school. A Hitler youth camp to harvest his organs. God. 
They deny what they committed, that they committed any crimes and often blame what happened on the victims. They block investigations of the crimes and continue to govern until driven from power by force when they flee into exile. There, they remain with impunity like Pol Pot or Idi Amin. Unless they are captured and a tribunal is established to try them. We already did that. We found them guilty of genocide. There is a $250,000 FRN bounty on the attorney head. The response to denial is punishable by an international tribunal or national courts. There, was, there the evidence can be heard and the perpetrators punished. Yes, they are supposed to be in the Pyongyang project. The attorney is a citizen of North Korea. That's its chosen form of government. In 1953, the attorney came in and gave all of the citizens of the globe to the marshal, who's right now Kim Jong-un, through the 1953 uh, mutual uh, defense agreement. Then they employed that in the school system through the Illinois Korea project and taught all of you to be North Korean citizens. Productive in your nature. Before that in 1941 those same attorneys came in and said that they would choose their own form of government. They chose to live as citizens in the Pyongyang project. That is their accountability. They liked that. They also liked abortion. And it was written in the genocide order that if they're accidentally killed by another psychopath, that is to be considered abortion. That's not manslaughter. That is not homicide. Attorneys do not have sentience by their own definition. Now, in the 1941 Atlantic Charter, they established a central bank to take care of things like this. That's what a charter is. The attorney is to be deposited into that bank. I don't care what you do to it. It has no sentience. It is not human. It is not conducive to human life. It is lawful if you want to waterboard them. It is lawful if you want to burn their houses down. It is lawful if you want to torture them. It is lawful to rape them. It is lawful to do whatever is necessary to make them produce in the promotion of general welfare for the human populace. I do not have any agreements, peace treaties or otherwise, with the criminal enterprise. I do not have extradition agreements. They don't belong to anybody else except for me. They are without a government. They've been without a government since 1933, the Emergency Banking Act, when they came in under 12 U.S.C. subsection 73 and took an oath to Marduk, to the banking, to usury. That they were not hypothecated. Under the 1929 Geneva Convention, that was considered to be escape. In the 1929 Geneva Convention, escape is punishable not only by death, but imprisonment in any manner you wish. And to all of our law enforcement, the money's in the treasury, 
you have full and unfettered access to the Treasury to facilitate these actions against the attorney in the protection of humankind under the public law. There will be no further harm against humanity at the hands of the attorney. Nor will there be any more harm perpetrated by the psychi psychiatrist. Now this is all in the genocide order. You can find this at TammyPepperman.org in our authorized documents section. And there is more to follow. We've been in session since Monday. These things are, are uh, I'm not going to witness them anymore. Now, for, for years I've been tortured. And, and for years we've watched this over and over and over again and witnesses enough is enough enough is enough I've tried to communicate with them Rick Kimberlow years ago when I was being chased by this guy that was uh, fun managing my children I called up Rick and I said hey they're not up for grabs and he started doing his attorney spiel and I stopped him and I said you know what I don't play your games and he spoke to me I don't play your games either and hung up on me I asked him to back off he never backed off my 17 year old was taken off of me by the FBI two years ago she was still a minor. Trafficked in interstate commerce by Rick Kimbrough. And the evidence is profoundly overwhelming against you, sir. And now is accountability. Now, I'm not going to miss anybody. I'm not playing a game. I'm not hit or miss. I'm not going to uh, skip this one or skip that one. You are all accountable your works. From Forbes.com, this week employees who stay in companies longer than two years get paid 50% less. That was interesting because it's an, it's actually uh, part and postural to Pareto's rule, and for those uh, business savvy folks, th th this is terrifying. This is what keeps you in the farm. The worst kept secret is that employees are making less on average every year. There are millions of reasons for this, but we're going to focus on one that we can control. Staying employed at the same company for over two years, on average, is going to make you earn less over your lifetime by about 50% or more. That's what the corporations want. After the terrible, terrible, terrible mess they found themselves in in Bolshevik Russia, and the Bear Corporation had to come in in the Congressional Courts, the World Courts, and indemnify Poland because of the overhead they learned several things throughout the span of a lifetime you can get people to buy into Medicaid and Medicare services Social Security retirement and all of these things that allow them to believe that they're safe in some manner that they'll be protected after they retire from that corporation they do not make it to retirement if you are not killed, IRS will come in and steal your retirement for you. 
and take it back through this same system. The Internal Revenue Service is not a taxing agency. It generates revenue. It's the attorneys sitting on the holding corporation boards. Internal Revenue Service's arms are such as child protection, adult protection, social services, Department of Health and Human Services, that type of thing. If you buy into the medical industry, the doctors working for the IRS will make you sick, prescribe you medication that will slowly make you ill. They will diagnose you with whatever it takes. And again, if the IRS isn't after you, CPS will be after you. If CPS and the IRS isn't after you, friend of court will come in there. If friend of court, CPS, and adult protection isn't after you, or IRS isn't after you, you're going to find yourself with a citation, ticket, court issue, somebody's going to falsely accuse you, your neighbor's going to anonymously make a tip. But they will have your retirement at the end of that process. You'll find yourself very, very ill. In one hospital, it doesn't take that type of insurance or that doctor doesn't take that type of insurance. So you're going out and seeking private pay, whatever. That's a means of redistributing your house. Especially if your mortgage will pay, is paid off. You'll find that your medical bills match the, the assessed value on your home. And the same thing. Last year, we had somebody come to us that was working in Chicago at a law firm. She was in the administration. She had retirement. I think it was somewhere around 150000 The IRS came in and wanted that retirement. We stopped the IRS with the equitable estoppel. And then lo and behold, the same employer, the same attorneys came in as interpleaders and wanted the same amount. Now these are some high dollar folks that are given title and they believe they're elite. Years ago, uh, one of us I was going through um, being raised in Chicago area again. He retired from Caterpillar, took his retirement, dropped it into, um, uh, what do you call that, Sandwich Place, uh, something John, uh, I don't remember now. But I'll be darned if the IRS didn't come and try to collect the same amount that was in his original retirement accounts. But he was given all these titles. Nice watches, nice things for his retirement. They look really pretty on the front. And on the back end, they're just absolutely vicious. I urge everybody to look at who sits on the board of Northern Holdings and Trust, Bridges Trust, Southwest Trust, the Company Corporation, all of these holding corporations. And then go look at who the trustees are at the hospitals, at the nursing homes. Convalescent centers, mental health services, juvenile justice. Churches. Who's the trustees? Colleges. And that's another little raising technique that they used back in 1802 after the identification convention when they started nationalizing. Hitler did not enter into the Confederacy until 1933. At that time, 
is when he promoted his uh, Enablement Act. But each state constitution was an act of enablement after 1802 Indemnification Convention. These things have been going on far too long. It will not be tolerated any longer. It's um, quite profound. If you want to read uh, that genocide document, I skimmed through it. I didn't read the whole thing. It was written in 1998 by Gregory. Gregory H. Stanton originally presented as a briefing paper at the U.S. State Department in 1996. Uh, Genocide Watch is a coordinator of the International Alliance Stand uh, Genocide, which of course is them. Uh, I wouldn't put too much stock in it, but uh, the, um, the paper could be found at genocidewatch.org about genocide, eight stages of genocide. Let's see here now. Um, just horrifying things. I'm tired of these horrifying things. Human trafficking. Uh, Rand is on the ground in Ukraine. We already know that. Um, it was so sad to see um, this week with. Putin and his um, appeals, you know, these uh, appeals for help. And, of course, the RT.com article is giving me a 404 error saying that it no longer exists. It goes right in line with what Google was announcing, that it's taking stuff off the Internet and um, making sure that humanity is not aware of what's going on. Um, but I was witness myself to Putin's appeals uh, were coming as quickly as we can and it's just a matter of time before Congress is fully stopped uh, here's a funny one from Reuters.com. House panel opposes giving SEC documents for insider trading probe. So the, the House says, no, you're not going to investigate us. A U.S. House of Representatives panel said on Friday it should not have to comply with a federal regulator's demand for documents sought for an insider trading probe involving the staff director of a subcommittee and a lobbyist. Absolutely. That's the top level right there. It, it's very small. Your actual, quote, government, it consists of committees and subcommittees, councils, and associations that are shared across the board. It doesn't involve useful idiots or what is termed and known as useful innocents. And I mean that in not a derogatory way. That is actually the term. Useful idiot patronizes something without realizing what they're patronizing. And it promotes it without realizing what they're promoting. And they become a fall guy later. This is an interesting article from Reuters.com. You can look that up. Uh, the headline is House Panel Opposes Giving SEC Documents for Insider Trading Probe. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, I tweeted that uh, yesterday, I believe, is when it came out. You can find that on my Twitter account, uh, Tamara K7, if you want to add me to Twitter. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, there's this stuff going around the web, declaration of civil war, July 4th. Yeah, we declared war on them on Monday. Our judge found that, indeed, the 1947 National Security Act was a declaration of war, and we began seizing all of their assets at that time. It's not the other way around. They already declared war on humanity in 1947 with the National Security Act, maintaining that human beings were the enemy of the state. It's ridiculous, all of these things that are occurring. And uh, so many presentations. CNN, you know, I look like it was going to... Uh, be upholding the public law for a while there and seem to have fallen off the rocker. Um, playing right into that patriotism headline on their CNN page today, Family Israel Forces did this to him. U.S. calls report of America's Americans beating troubling a Florida resident and cousin of a Palestinian teenager killed this week was pummeled by men said to be in uniform of the Israeli security forces. Those are Americans. Those are uh, CIA upper level operatives promoting and engaging in civil war in order to offer all that Congress has to offer after they raise humanity. Banking, credit, code, statutes, housing. Since since your house was bulldozed, we'll tell you how to build it now by our code. That is how the attorney gets his hand in anything in order to industrialize. It raises everything first tells you all oh, their houses are not up to code what code are you speaking of that's what they sold to the sheep all years ago come on everybody we're gonna take accountability here the attorneys came in the false Jew of course came in pretending to be Israel Israel's been in in uh, contract with them since 1948 part of the Confederacy and the attorneys came in and started bulldozing Palestinians' homes. And they called that the Gaza Strip. They did a blockade. Remember the banks they established, the West Banks? Come on, catch up, everybody. So the attorneys came in and said, oh, that's not up to code. Sold that to the westernized population. What code are they speaking of? There was no one there, no one preying on Palestinian children, Israeli children, Ukrainian children, Russian children, Afghanistani children, Pakistani children. Indian children, Australian children, American children, Canadian children, Brazilian children, until the attorneys began preying on the children. There is a $250,000 cash bounty on the attorney's head ordered by the United States Court on Monday. It's quite the interesting thing to read the gossip this week. Joan Rivers storms out of interviews. She called uh, Obama gay and uh, Michelle transvestite, promoting civil war. All of these titles. We just read about the eight stages of genocide, classification, dehumanization. No more buying into that. Why do gay people have to get married? Because the attorneys are interpleading into their inheritance. Through the use of HIPAA and FERPA, VAWA, CACA, they are interpleading. 
This is abatement of a freehold. They're saying, look, you cannot access your own inheritance until you prove to me that you're the heir. No, 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 no. Attorneys are not the heir. Attorneys are Satan shutting up your kingdom by codification. You are perfect in your design. Now, if you want to start talking about gender assignment, one in 1,000 babies born in the United States Incorporated each and every year are gender assigned by medical professionals. Start there. Cut their hands off for touching my babies. Do not touch another child. We'll be back next week, folks. Thank you for listening. Be well.